Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to show you how to find some live bait if you're in South Florida or the Florida Keys. But before we get started, don't forget to find us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Live bait is a great option to have when you're fishing. In the Florida Keys, it's a little harder for me to find sometimes. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm not as familiar with the area or, you know, summertime might be hard to find bait. I'm not sure what the deal is, but there are a few spots that I've been successful at, so I'm going to share those with you. One of the first places I learned was to find bait by islands. There was little islands out in the Keys, and we found if you go up to the island where it starts to get shallow, maybe four, three or four feet, five feet, and there's like grass kind of growing in that sand, a lot of times you can put out a chum block and you'll get live bait coming to you. Sometimes you can sabiki them up, a lot of times we can cast at them and catch them. Today, we were only catching little baits. Sometimes we'll catch bigger baits, which I want for offshore and even for the mangrove and yellowtail. These baits were pretty small. In fact, they were too small to fit in our bait pen that we brought by the canal, but they do make good fresh dead bait. So we cast netted these and put a little brine solution on them. And we used them throughout the week fishing, you know, for yellowtail and stuff like that. It did really well. We caught yellowtail, mangrove, and we even caught the biggest mutton snapper we ever caught in our boat on that tiny little um, piece of bait, a tiny little hook. So that's a good place to find bait. You can run out while they're still fresh and catch them, or if you just get a smaller mesh bait motel, then yeah, you can keep them throughout your week while you're down in the Keys. There's a hurricane coming through and uh, we can't get offshore. So we're gonna catch some bait right here in the Gulf, kind of by an island, it's a little protected from the wind see if we can't catch some pinfish or piltridge and then when the fishing does get good we'll, uh, we'll be ready so we put out a pinfish trap and we've got a chum block out to see if we can uh, bring some up by the boat we'll cast that on those or something so hopefully between the two we'll get plenty of bait for yellowtail and dolphin and stuff like that I then tried another place I've been wanting to try just along the island there were some mangroves shallow water looked really nice we went around there and looked put out a chum block and stuff, but it didn't catch anything. We tried to find some bait uh, by these mangroves. I was curious what was over here. Uh, didn't see any bait. Kind of looks like it'd be good for tarpon or something, but uh, no luck today. So we're going to try somewhere else. Where we did best at, though, was when we went night fishing. I wanted to try night fishing for mangroves and yellowtail, see how they do. So it was a nice full moon, anchored up, turned on the underwater lights, and started fishing. Hey guys, we're out here, uh, sun setting. We're gonna try a little uh, more nighttime yellowtail fishing. I heard the yellowtail and the mangroves do good right uh, right before full moon, and that's right where we're at tonight. So we got a chum block out, we got the place to ourselves, got the lights on, Let's say that attracts fish, right? So uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, catch some up. So stay tuned. Seems like chums on it. Yeah. Let's do the smaller bags and then we'll go with the bigger one. Okay. This one kind of get them going, you know. I guess it'll be where the bigger um, mangroves are. I think so. All right, fish on. Fish on! What's on that belly here, Jeremy? Oh, it's a big boy. What's that mutton, isn't it? The mangrove. Where is it? Never mind. You got it. What is that? Big mangrove. That's a good mangrove. There you go. Keep your mangrove there now. Just like they said it would be. They said you come here at night, you get big mangroves. Came here at night, we caught a big mangrove. And I fixed the spreader lights, which is why you're able to see what we're doing right now. Is that on that big value hoop? Dang. Yeah, fish on that one. Yep. All right. It's Another on. fish on. Watch out. What is that? Oh, mango. Another mango? Yep. Keep that school must be a... Uh, uh, In session? Well, I was going to say here. Must be a school mango here, but yeah. School's in session. That'll work. Then we had a bunch of baits come up. I think they're, they're either pilchard or threadfin herring or greenies. We call them so many different things. Get them confused, but nice little baits. 
and they were coming up you know, to our lights at night. This is the most active we've seen big baits, this place. Now we were just along the little inshore reefs, you know, little patch reefs as they call them. We were in about 45 feet of water over some, you know, just kind of rolling hills of uh, natural live bottom. We were putting the uh, sabiki rigs down, just small little sabikis and just jigging the fish up and they were biting pretty steadily. I'd catch a few, sometimes I'd, I'd go around the other side or cast a little ways, but you know, we were catching two or three at a time. It was working great. And these are great live baits. These are the size that you want to have going offshore. All right, guys. <laughs> Finally found the bait we've been looking for. We've been looking at a couple spots, but apparently the pilchards at night are coming up to our lights and we got our chum out for mangrove and we see all these pilchards flashing. So now I've got a sabiki rig out and we're catching some pilchards. So check the islands, check the different flats, the pinfish trap. But the baits, we really want these good looking pilchards right here at night, just on the uh, local patch reefs. Just gonna jig it. Oh, there we go, look at that. Three primo baits. You have a D hooker, now's the time to use it. Well, the mangrove and yellowtail and that kind of bottom fishing didn't pan out quite like we hoped, but bonus is we got live bait, some really nice pilchards. I think they're gonna be really good. We're gonna take them offshore and uh, hopefully it'll catch us some big mahi. So, uh, didn't get exactly what we thought we would, but I think it's really gonna pay off and uh, help us catch some big fish. I did try to throw a cast net on them. Didn't work too well, too fast or too deep or something, but so just be ready to sabiki them. You know, if, if you get a chance, then if they come up big enough, cast them by all means, but be prepared to sabiki them. Another place we did good was those same patch reefs during the day. And that's when we catch most of our ballyhoo. The ballyhoo were just, you know, you put your chum block out and you're catching yellowtails and you just look and you'll see ballyhoo way out in the distance. Now you can sabiki them and I've cast them in before. That's probably the second best way. The best way is to use a ballyhoop. I mean, these things are pretty sweet. What I like to do is take that bally hoop and I actually put something floating on one end. Um, I don't like it to sink wet down too far for a bally hoop. You know, they always seem high. I want it floating on the top. I'll just take like a marker jug or a milk jug or whatever jug you got, tie it off to the top so it's just floating. I'll let it back there. And then as the bally hoop are kind of swimming in front, I'll just slowly pull it in. And once it gets right up close, I'll just walk up the boat fast and pull get that coming fast and scoop up a bunch. Well, that's by no means the only places to catch live bait. I'm sure there are a lot of other areas. If you got any suggestions or tips, by all means, please let me know. But those are some areas that I find um, pretty good, pretty, pretty normally pretty successful spots. So hopefully if you go down to the Keys and want to catch some live bait, you can use these areas or get some ideas for something similar at whatever part of the Keys or South Florida you're staying in. Thanks again for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.